now in this video i want to talk about the woman that you should be careful of okay be careful of and hello everybody it's ishmael and your priest i welcome you to today's video you know after a, a thorough study you know checking the scriptures or the bible i got to see without even checking this but this all began even before the bible but then sometimes when i have events in life i also go back i'm like okay what does the bible say about these things scripturally so you know what i'm saying and i got to see that you know what yes it, it this is how it is commonly like meaning once you are able to get to a point where when things begins to be like this or when a weather is like this prepare that as much as you cannot guarantee that it's gonna rain it is likely to rain now let me tell you that once you approach a person with this condition or in this situation you must just know that they are likely to turn out to do this at the end because they are in this situation now this brings us into knowing you know let me tell you like you have so much there's a person in the bible by the name delilah okay a woman by the name delilah and there was also a woman by the name haggai and uh, we can take this further with different examples but these are the names of the women you must watch out for there is a Delilah and there is a Haggai in your life. And similar things with these two people or these two women is that when they were chosen, something of them was overlooked. But choosing somebody whom you have overlooked their faults, it usually backfires. And I will be more clear with you. It's either this message was going to teach you to correct yourself or to be careful. Two of the things. Because sometimes I might be talking with the person who is actually doing it to the other one. So let it be a message of repentance and correction unto you. Because you see, Haggai, she was a, a, a maid servant. But then Abraham chose her to try to have a baby with her. And do you remember what happened? As she got pregnant, as she started to have it all, she started to make a mockery of her maid, Sarah. Someone who chose her, someone who trusted her. But when she was up there, she became prideful. That's what they do. You know, Samson wouldn't have married Delilah, but out of love, he overlooked that she was of the nations of the enemies of Israel. He overlooked that, meaning he overlooked their imperfections or their faults, and it backfired. She stabbed him in the back. Personally, so I have realized that people who have nothing, let's just take, let me give you an example. Let me just put it as this a poor person, most of the time, if you are to try to pick them up, you will realize how. how how uh how prideful how what can i say i'm forget this this word is getting out of my lips but i have noticed that you can never help a poor person rather you help them for short term but if you want to permanently build up a poor person they are likely to turn against you and of course we can come with different explanations and as i, I thought about it that oh maybe that's why we can never try to act god if God is letting somebody be poor at that moment, it's because you might find that they're in a process of being trained. So you're picking them up while they are not ready for finances. You get what I'm saying? That is why I'm not, I'm not sure. Has this never happened to you? Try to check. Have you ever tried to help somebody who had nothing? And the moment they get up, they step in the bag and you be like, yo, that's what I'm talking about. So what I want to say to you is be careful of a Delilah and a Haggai of your life. You have people whom you look at, you try to play God and then it backfires. The best way to look at this is this. Anyone in your life that you trust the most, who seems like they have nothing, be careful of the most. 
they are likely to be the ones to turn against you but that does not mean you shouldn't help them no it means you should just tread carefully jesus christ was backstabbed by his one of his own disciples judas iscariot and if you thought judas was the only one he was not even peter denied him people whom you pick up the man very same man who said lord away from us we are sinners and lord the lord showed them love at the end in his time of trial they were all away begin to be careful begin to tread carefully the lord jesus what made him not to be hurt is because he expected such he never relied on them though he loved them but he had room for disappointment that's why he was never ever disappointed if you can walk if you can show love out of just enjoyment you know out of just not expecting anything in return even if that person is to wake up and turn against you let me tell you the lord is going to bless you and you will never be disappointed i pray that any delilah and her guy that is in your life right now that is just waiting to get out of that cage and then stab you in the back by the hand that feeds them may the lord give you strength not to stop loving to stop caring to stop giving to stop oh my god but i pray may the devil not take advantage of you and then starts to turn your heart to be wicked to be evil to be not caring but may the lord guide you on how to deal with each and every challenge so that the enemy never takes advantage of you in jesus name may you surely see the fruits of your labor in jesus name amen and you can book an appointment with me my details are on the comment section below see you next time